All right, guys, we are a month into season one, and I thought I would bring you guys a really cool tier list for you because you guys have been so receptive on a previous tier list that we've done for the game in the past. So this one is just, it's not gonna be critical, guys. This is just gonna be a fun tier list or what classes I find the funnest in Diablo 4 up to what we've played. So we've maxed out our Druid, our Sork, our Barbarian, our Necromancer, we have a rogue at 72, which is my very first like full on playthrough. We had a hardcore rogue. We actually have our second sorcerer at 78 during the season. And we're probably gonna make another druid at some point. So I kind of wanted to break down what I think is the most fun about each of these classes and just go over a tier list really quickly, just to kind of, you know, lighten the spirits of things or lighten the weight of things since the state of Diablo 4 is just kind of in shambles right now. So I want to talk about what I have the fun or the most fun playing, what classes or excuse me, what builds that I enjoyed playing within each class and just kind of talk about those things. So we're going to go through them uh, one at a time and then we're going to put them into the tier list so you guys will see that. So starting off with currently my favorite class so i'm going to try to be unbiased and be very objective here um so starting off with the druid okay druid is the very first class that we took to 100 we've played pretty much every single thing in the class except for the bulwark build and with all of the changes that have happened to druid even going into the season druid is probably the second or tied for the strongest class in the game uh, currently, but as far as fun, it it's up there. Uh, the lightning shred or poison shred build for the druid is insanely fast. The build is very, very strong and you're kind of dashing around. It reminds me of the um, in a monk from Diablo three, where you're just dashing all around dealing insane amounts of damage, like just going from mob to mob to mob. And it's really cool considering the uh, the lack of mobility with the class, seeing how Trample is really the only thing that the class has for mobility. So it's really good to see this in this kind of build for the Druid, and it's insanely strong. You, we literally defeated Uber Lilith with it and one shot her multiple times and did two, three, four hundred million damage against her with Lightning Shred. This is before and post nerf. So, or at least for the one ability. So the build is absolutely insane. So that is the build that I really enjoyed for the uh, Druid and probably the most fun build that I had, although I thoroughly enjoyed Pulverize, but the class is in a very, very good state right now. So we're gonna go ahead and cut over to our list here and we're gonna put Druid at, oh, it's tough. It's either super fun or fun. Uh, uh, but I'm going to say with lightning shred right now, we're going to keep it at super fun and that's where we're going to be at for, uh, for Druid. Now on to Sork. Sork was the second class that we got to 100 and we actually probably have even more playtime on our Sork considering the second one that we've started in season one. But more importantly is that we had about 130 hours on Sork before we actually found our remnants chest piece, our unique chest piece. And then all the builds that we had that were super strong started to pop off. So in season zero, my favorite build and funnest build was Blizzard or a Blizzard hybrid. That build was insanely fun. It was super strong and you just absolutely destroyed everything with ice spikes. Now that we're in the season, currently Chain Lightning is by far the funnest build. I feel like I'm Emperor Palpatine and I'm just, I have unlimited power and there's absolutely nothing that can stop me. Yoda himself couldn't do it even if he tried. So uh, right now, Chain Lightning is very, very strong. However, it does require the Barber, so I'm kind of conflicted there, whereas Blizzard didn't. Um, Ball Lightning is another really strong build. And with all of the changes in season one to the Sork, especially all of the defensive buffs in the Paragon nodes, as well as some of the uh, aspect changes, Sork is in a very good spot with all things considered. So uh, between Blizzard and Chain Lightning, Sork is very, very good. And with the 
huge cooldown reduction. You're able to teleport and move very, very quickly. You stack three different unstoppables. So with Ghost Walker, you're moving at an insane pace while being able to teleport what seems to be like half your screen. So Sork is very, very, very fast. And uh, I base a lot of my fun on builds that I can make really fast and still deal a lot of damage. So Sork is super, super fun. Um, so let's see, we're gonna put Sork in uh, in the fun category. It's not it's not over the top. It's not like super fun, but there's some very, very good things. Again, I've said this in numerous videos where Sork is the most consistent class across the board, no matter what. Um, so that that is Sork in a nutshell. Next, Barbarian was our third class that we were forced to play thanks to my community. And we got Barbarian to 100. This is the class we started with in season one which uh really sucked for leveling because of the huge and massive nerfs that the class got not only did they get a huge one at the start of season one but they were uber nerfed what seemed to be on a daily basis in season zero because the class was just too strong all that aside hoda by far is my favorite build and funnest build uh no excuse me hoda is my favorite build double swing is my like the funnest build that i've played for the barbarian this season uh it's even better with the uh the barber uh, malignant heart and it actually was able to take down uber lilith with the uh barber um, malignant heart which is really cool to see something outside of hoda or whirlwind to take her down uh the mobility on the class is still really good however one thing that really uh taints the class for me is still the fact that besides bleed or walking arsenal i am required to run all three shouts which really puts a knock on the build uh, as a whole and doesn't seem as fun to me. Um, but the class was really, really cool. It's really nice to see Double Swing be uh, very strong. Bleed is very, very good right now. And then using Walking Arsenal. So it's good to see that the class of Barbarian has some different avenues that you can take. But when it comes to fun, it didn't really change even with the nerfs. You're still basically triple shouting and just using whatever that you want to use. Whirlwind double swing or hoda um, unless you want to go outside the norm but the class is just okay and when it comes to fun it is definitely the weakest so what i'm gonna say is not necessarily not fun but it's it's teetering on this right now it's really teetering on kind of fun to not fun uh and right now i'm gonna put it in the not fun category because until a lot of the nerfs get undone or some changes to barbarian I don't really have a whole lot of fun playing this class. So that's all I'm going to say about Barbarian. Barbarian. I'm not going to knock it any more than that. So next, Necromancer. Now we got to talk about this because Necromancer was a class that I have hated on uh, up until recently because of the lack of mobility as well as the huge lack of support to the minion build when this is our only pet slash minion class in the game and not only that the necromancer is a mainly a minion build and all of its best builds were without those so it really sucked as a whole to watch this class just really um deteriorate right in front of my you know, like face basically so after we finished barbarian we started on a necromancer per vote of my community and to my surprise, we actually had the most fun in a class in a very long time uh, next to the Druid. So with, obviously, Bone Spear is absolutely insane. And this is before any of the Malignant Hearts. Now, now you introduce the Malignant Hearts. Now you have a wide range of builds that just accelerate this class to the absolute tippy top of the mountain. Necromancer by far has the best Malignant Hearts in Season 1. And playing builds like Sever, which is the funnest build that I've played in Necromancer, Infinite Blood Mist, you have Bone Spear, you have the minion build now, which is absolutely insane with the unique ring. So there is so many things that you can do. Blood Lance is absolutely insane. We had somebody in my community that put a Blood Lance build together that we were doing millions and millions of damage with Blood Lance, which before was basically non-existent so necromancer as a whole has really elevated and is a very very strong and fun class to play and then if you take it to one step further and you prioritize movement speeds in your amulet and boots like i have done 
uh, you really, really amp up. And with the shadow build, you deal even more, or you get even more move speed when you're dealing shadow damage. So I'm insanely fast keeping up with rogues and um, druids in the end game. So this build is, or the class is very, very satisfying. So when it comes to fun, Necromancer, super fun at the absolute tippy top. And I've hated on this class since release. So uh, big shout out to um, the devs in that sense, or maybe it's our community and the way we make builds, uh, putting this class at the tippy top. All that's left now, guys, is Rogue. Okay, we started off on Hardcore Rogue during the Hardcore uh, to, you know, the 1000 race, which turned out to be shambles. So I'm really glad we didn't waste time doing that. And now we have finally been able to play actually play rogue and we've really avoided this this entire time thanks to my community because every single time that we vote to do things they don't let me play rogue and there's a good reason for it now that we're actually playing the class twisting blades is everything that i've heard of and witnessed with my own two eyes and the class is insanely fast which is one thing that i love we deal a crap ton of damage uh, we are a little squishy, but besides that, Twisting Blades is by far one of the funnest like builds that I've played in Diablo. Uh, or Diablo 4, I should say. Penetrating Shot is insanely fun. Low-key Flurry, I have a very, very enjoyable time playing Flurry because it's just different than Twisting Blades. Um, and there's a lot of other builds that I'm really curious to play, especially with Reign of Arrows and those things. Uh, the amount of crowd control surprisingly is something that i didn't realize that the rogue was able to do with all the stunning and just slowing people down to get massive amounts of damage and then when you pair him with the uh barber wrathful heart it makes any of the builds just insane that and that goes for almost pretty much any class but i was actually really surprised at how fast we are not only during leveling but during the end game and how much damage we actually do bouncing from mob to mob it's actually quite satisfying coming from d3 and being a demon hunter main uh, i know none of the classes are as fast as classes are in diablo 3 but to see the amount of speed that we have on this class in diablo 4 which is essentially a very very slow game it was quite satisfying so with that said rogue is fun rogue is fun this is our official tier list for fun or the classes that I have the most fun with. The builds I've already highlighted for you guys. This is my list. Um, the only things that might change in the future is buffs and nerfs. But I really, really like this list. I think it's pretty dang accurate. Uh, I know Barbarian mains aren't having a lot of fun right now. But uh, this is my fun tier list, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new and hopefully we can just try to have some uh, some lighter conversations and just try to have as much fun with Diablo 4 as we can in the current state of the game. So thank you guys for watching and as always stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.